Hello. Hello. How, how are we all doing today? So much energy. What? No, I'm very mellow. <laughs> You're like, hello. I was like, that seems a bit unfair. Are you untouched by the worries of the world? <sighs> well, it's all relative. <laughs> as long as it's not... Are you going to try and sell us some kind of supplement? Because I would buy it right now where you're like, yeah, hello. I was like, yeah, how do I get that? I mean, if things don't work out in this line of work. No, I was <laughs> absolutely say, not. If it's something like <laughs> clean living, I'd be like, no, I'm good. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good evening. Good middle of the night, beautiful people. Today, we are going to have a nice, short, relaxed, no problem stream, right? Yeah. We're going to, this is the inaugural, uh, and I'm going to give it that that sense of grandeur, the inaugural oh. <laughs> Bad Website Club Show and Tell. Shall we talk a little bit about what Show and Tell is for those uh, who aren't familiar with the concept? Oh, yeah, because it's kind of a culturally based concept, isn't it? Like, I knew it from my time in kindergarten in the United States. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm from the States. So, yeah, I was just like, what? No, everybody knows. Oh, I don't think it's, I, I live in the UK now. Everything's mm. fine. Um, mm, mm, mm. Uh, and I don't think show and tell is a thing or as much of a thing here. Yeah, I don't know if it's here either. So yeah. you, you explain it because because you having like one little snapshot of it, I bet it's going to be much more charming of a description than I'll, I'll give. Well, <laughs> we'll see. I mean, so what I... The, the whole idea behind the Bad Website Club, right, is that is that we're all in this together. We're all involved. We're all making websites together and just learning that sort of peaceful, fair, uh, fairly low-key way, sans perfection, like perfection-free way of making websites. So what we're doing today is inviting all of you. And even if you're uh, live with us today, send over your websites and we're going to just show them to all of you, share them here on stream and just fun over how great they are. With a scathing um, critique. With <laughs> vicious. <laughs> line by line going through the code, just a, the code review from hat. It is going to be <laughs> as soulless and, and as abusive as all of the streams to date have been. Just very, very mean. No, it's going to be wonderful. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be chill. So um, before we start, uh, looking at websites, just a couple of uh, points. Um, we've been getting a lot of these from uh, our Discord. And you might, if you're watching and wondering what our Discord is, uh, we've got a Discord channel for folks to talk about making websites, to talk, to inspire, to innovate, to be gentle and, and kind. What if somebody's like very, very grown? What is Discord anyway? Oh, uh, so Discord is a platform for chatting and voice chatting where you can have different servers and channels and you can just hang out and share stuff. And we're so keeping like an eye on, yeah. IRC for folks who were born within the last uh, last couple of decades. Or yeah. AIM for folks who were. That's more, yeah, that's more, that's more my time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. AIM. <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't I'm, use I'm, it, but uh, it was there. ICQ. I was an ICQ, ICQ kid. I see. So, so it's it's like a little chatty pl uh, platypus is suggesting that a Discord is a type of fish. And the thing is, <laughs> I immediately, naturally, want to say no. That's ridiculous. That's not true. And every time I'm like platypus, my love, I'm not sure that's true. I look it up, and I'm like. As technically correct. And now I just believe stuff. Platypus, you could just say like the most ridiculous things and I'd be like, well, I mean, obviously a Discord is a type of fish. I now have been carefully taught to trust. <laughs> while, we, while we get settled. Oh, you were going to share a link. Yes, thank you. Um, so this is, um, I'm about to put into the chat. Uh, so it should show up on all three chats. Um, the, the link, this is an invite link that will bring you to our discord. So just to make sure that, um, that we can like keep an eye on, on the folks coming in and making sure everybody's happy and, and safe. Uh, if you're watching this later and the link doesn't work, that's because it's by design. Um, but you know, get in touch with us and, uh, we'll see if we can get you one as well. Um, so that's the link of course, as always, uh, in keeping with the our code of conduct, please make sure that we're all behaving kindly and constructively towards one another. And uh, do we want to talk about next week or shall we do that at the end? Let's do 
let's go ahead and just preview because this this is a little bit different. This is so we're doing this. We're doing show and tell today. Tomorrow, yeah. free free class, free period. You don't you don't have to show up. You can if you want to. We're not going to be here. <laughs> uh, and then next week we're going back to the very traditional demo and guest. Ah, uh, you know what? The more I look at this website, the more it's actually quite a good website. Thank you. I think it's great. I think we did a great job of it. So here's our schedule in case, uh, just paste that into the chat. If you go here to sessions for season one, if you scroll all the way down, you'll find that next week we're going to be joined by the folks from Kirby to show us how to use that. And uh, I'm very excited for it. And then after that, we're going to have a break for a couple weeks. And you say, how many weeks? Mm -hmm. I say, well, we're, we're, we're ironing some stuff out. Is it okay to say what we're going to do after that? I think so. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. So we are going to return to the classics. We are going to do another free web development boot camp. Um, and the good people at Class Central got us started. They got us. They're, we're going to do it independent of Class Central. Nothing bad happened. We're still besties with them. They're just focusing on their core business, which is sort of a, a magical directory of all things learning. Um, and we're going to be working a little bit more closely with the free code camp folks and just doing it indie. Um, it's going to be incredibly laid back just as stressful as there is the rest of this but we're going to come in and do that we're going to do another season of the the bad website club after that and then we're going to come back and do javascript so we're going to start interspersing some of these boot camps we, you've come to know and maybe love hopefully <laughs> um, <laughs> oh sorry i'm messing with my chair and and unsettled my giant uh weird cat Y'all want to say hi to my, weird, my worst cat? I want to say hi. Okay, he's he's not beautiful, so so everybody be polite. Oh, hey, man. he is. There he is. Hey. Oh. No, nah, he's not having any of that. He only wants to do crime. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, shall we get started? Yeah. Oh wait, wait. So you've already seen these. So just say when. Just say when. I'm gonna be surprised. Okay, okay, okay. So just to preface, these are all websites that y'all have sent us on Discord and on uh, social media. Please, if you want us to showcase yours, put it in the chat. Just we'll give, give it a quick look to make sure everything's, that it's, you know, good for streams, uh, safe for streams. Let's put it that way. <laughs> we, I, we trust you. We just don't trust the internet. There we go. Uh, and then we'll showcase. So let's start with a website that CCMT very yeah. okay. uh, kindly showed us. Okay. You ready, Jess? Yeah, I'm gonna rate it out of ten. It's uh, it's it's no, I'm not gonna say anything. Here we go. One, okay. two, three. Oh yeah, full ten, full ten, full ten. <laughs> um, is is the ten roof like strict? Oh, and I see that this says tribute page, which I think might be the tribute oh. page from the the boot camp we did in the past, and we'll do again. Um, Lovely. And like a tribute page to an animal. Yes, <gasps> correct. Perfect. Oh, I mean, the only way I would conceptually top that is having it be a specific red panda to be like, oh, yes, this is Baron Von Kitten Pants. I don't know what you would name a red panda. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Love it. The adorable red panda spends much of its time climbing trees and munching on bamboo leaves. You know, I, I think I've seen a red panda. Do they, they, eat, the... do they eat bamboo as well? I, I believe, uh, Cassie, I believe you. I'm just, I'm just delighted. Love it. Oh, wait, wait. I think we're missing something that is very important. So we've got the big picture of a red panda. Perfect. Yes, yep. yes, yes. And we've got other people agreeing where this is like, this is a solid 10 out of 10, no notes. But come all the way back up because there is a little tiny thing that I'm seeing, a little feature between the sections that is perfectly, oh, yeah. it's so small. Wait, stop. This here? That is a little tiny panda. That is a little tiny bamboo. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, that is amazing. And I think that's absolutely perfect. I think that is, is unreasonably perfect. How much is that an I emoji? Love? It is an emoji. Oh, wow. I love that. I um, also, sorry. Oh, like I, I used to live in Japan a long time ago, and this is a sort of traditional little bumble of bamboo you put outside for New Year's. Um, but it is so cute and good, and I love it. I would, 
argue that this emoji does not get enough play and this is like i have yeah there are other good things about this website but yes 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 i have to admit i didn't know the bamboo emoji existed uh, i think there's a couple of them let me get the other That's one amazing. i mean both of that so there's also a, a one for a different uh japanese holiday oh cool but sorry jess can we talk about this gallery for a second because i it is incredible visually balanced I, yeah 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 picture fun fact picture fun fact and it's like it's kind of like this is getting a little bit ahead but i suspect there might be a flexbox or css grid at play here which we're gonna learn about during the boot camp it's not a problem everything fine oh, so Cassia sorry points out to say hey do you know what the bamboo emoji are japanese holiday specific oh and we won't deep dive into this i think this is because of how emoji developed interesting um so emoji were like features on japanese phones for a long time and and the standardization process came in standards whoop. so i think japan kind of got the the bounce on a lot of folks with having a bunch of very japanese specific oh. emoji um and That's the tanabasa awesome. the little the little um one with a paper is high quality it's isn't it and like a little yeah oh awesome it's like a little wish tree festival which is very oh, i didn't know that i did not know that that's awesome i love this website <gasps> right. it even has sources oh 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 that is so cool so we should love talk this. about this again this is kind of important um boy boy don't do crimes i mean obviously <laughs> our 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 learners you can do crimes on your own time don't get caught i'm i'm yelling at cats um because when you Oh, so we need to talk about the sources and we need to talk about the license as well, because I haven't seen one of our learners do uh, a website with a license yet. And I love this. And I've never heard of the Hippocratic license. Me neither. I am intrigued. What is a What's license? That? What is a license oh. for a website or software? I'm going to I'm going to get this all wrong. So I'm going to ask everybody in the chat and of course you just to to make oh, this wait, better. Oh, yeah. My beloved um, and fellow nerds, what's a license? So I'm going to venture a guess, if I may, or venture a, an attempt at, at defining it, rather. Um, a license is an agreement about the source code that you can that you have access to, because all of this code is on the internet for us to look at, right? If I were to, you know, download this website's files, I could you I could you know theoretically repurpose them. So what this license says is, hey, for example, again, I don't know this license here, but what a lot of licenses do, which is a piece of text that says how you are allowed to use this code. I'd agree. It's kind of like the terms and conditions. It's like, hey, I made I this like thing. That. And I think sources being involved is really important. So say, hey, you know, I found this picture online, mm -hmm. but it's not mine. Yeah. Can I just use it? And I said, no, you need to look at the licensing. Yeah. Um, so a lot of things on Wikimedia, for example, and that's like the Wikipedia and, and constellation properties are going to be uh, creative commons licensed where they say, mm -hmm. Hey, you need to, you need to say, you need to, you need to list your sources and then you can use it. Um, some of them are CC zero licensed, which is like, I always call this Ooh. the chaos license. CC zero is like, do what you want. I don't even care. It's none of my business. Have a good day. You know what? That's a TLDR. I, I, I bet I got that. I'm sorry. That's a unjust abbreviation. Let me go get a CC0 license and make sure I haven't lied. Yeah. Wave. All, no rights reserved. It oh, is wow. the YOLO license. <laughs> yeah. I, I like what Platypus is saying here. Um, it's rule saying when the thing you borrow stuff from is going to yell at you. <laughs> and like sometimes yelling with lawyers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I try cool. and not tell people what they should do, but like, if you're going to like, don't pinch stuff off. I'm not going to tell you what to do, tell you what to do. Um, don't pinch stuff off the internet. But every now and again, I'll see somebody who's just like, I've put up this Mickey Mouse picture. I'd be like, ah, uh, 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 uh. like, <laughs> obviously don't mess with copyright, but never mess with the mouse. Never. Nah. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, oh, Cassium. 
the Hippocratic license is an open source license and open source licenses get a little bit more complicated than, than so the CC zero YOLO license. Hmm. Um, some of them say you can do this, but not for money. You can do this, but you have to pay me sometimes. And the Hippocratic, like the Hippocratic oath is an open source hmm. license that says, Hey, it's like CC zero, do whatever you want. I but like this. Don't use it to hurt people. Sort of a do no, do no evil license. That's beautiful. And platypus is like, hey, 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 you know, yelling here is a euphemism for legal action. Speaking of legal and illegal things, I see that one of the citations here is uh, JSTOR, so an academic article. Um, oh, yeah. It's always really, really useful to tell people that uh, you should be careful to avoid uh, if you need to access academic journals and you're not a student or if you're not a professor, you don't have that out of the box, be really careful to go ahead and avoid uh, Sci-Hub. Uh, oh. Yeah, you might want to like search for where Sci-Hub is now and just bookmark it so you make sure not to visit that website uh, because Sci-Hub is a website that collects academic journals and makes them available for free instead of paying $50 uh, a view. So obviously piracy is deeply bad and deeply wrong and you would never, ever want to pirate academic journals. So just remember, never, never, never go to Sci-Hub. That's good to know. Thanks, Jess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want people to be careful not to accidentally access these journals for free. Okay, this, this is, is beautiful. And all the sources, since the source is on GitLab, I bet if we click on this, because this <gasps> isn't made with one of the website builders we saw. This is made with code. So folks who've just joined us for the, the Bad Website Club, this might look a little bit complex. Oh, look at that. Uh, th we're going to learn about this in the boot camp, I promise. Mm. But this is sort yep. of a, a check-in, like where you've put your code. Well, not, not, not us. This is where Cassie has put their code. And we can see that, that this has just gotten updated about an hour ago. So nice. I can show it off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little fix. You know this this kind of um, so the folks who are joining process. for the first time. <gasps> oh wow! Wow, Cassie, is it okay if we share this the link to this in the chat? This is so good. I'll I'll wait for I'll wait for your mm -hmm. thumbs up, Cass. But like uh, Cassie, but this is. This I is love... stunning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how, uh, is it okay to call you fans? That seems terribly forward, terribly direct. Acknowledgements. Acknowledgements. This is amazing. <gasps> this read me. So, and there's a, there's, oh, I love this so much. I cannot emotionally process how good this is. This is unacceptable. Um, and in case sorry, folks are wondering. Uh, yeah. Please. I was going to say, to be clear, unacceptably good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I got that. No, I, I appreciate it. Sure, go ahead. Thank you so much, Cassium. Let's put it in. This is amazing. And in case you're wondering, folks, like Git, uh, GitLab, GitHub, very similar functionality, open source, uh, open source places for putting up your code. We've seen GitHub a little bit. GitLab is, uh, for most Same intents vibe. and purposes, very similar. Yeah, yeah. Um, all of them are kind of like TikTok for code, where you can put stuff up there, and depending on the license, you can grab it and remix it and do edit. Um, I'm cool. I'm down with the kids. Uh, and then <laughs> put it back into the world. This is stunning. Cassie, Great it's work. Not crazy. Do you work in tech professionally? And if you don't, ooh, folks should absolutely hire the heck out of you. This is so good. This is better than it. I've done on any project ever. Yeah, this is inspirational for me. Uh, my final judgment on this website is it is too good and I am jealous and mean about it. Lessons to pass on. Lessons to pass on. Mm. Love this. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. This, the, these are really good. Right? Like media queries. I mean, well, if you're reading this and thinking like, wait, what's a media query? We'll um, do it in the boot camp. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. We, what, what is it just a preview? Uh, it is allowing you to declare ways that websites should look on devices with differently sized screens or on different kinds of devices. 
for example, like, and I was, I was doing this for my CV lately on my website. Um, you can tell it how it should look when printing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some fun stuff you can try out. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Vance. This was amazing. Shall we move on to our next website? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, can I? Yeah, okay. So here we go. One, two, three. You can open. Oh, look at that smiley face. That's very high. <clears throat> look at that smiling face. So this is Kai Kachtala's website. Um, and they're, uh, they're just, they're just so cool. Uh, full disclosure, I, I do know them in real life as well. Um, and it's just, this is great. Like um, it, I, and I know this is, this is not the main point, but I'm absolutely digging the turquoise because like right? so many pages these days are like stark white two columns this is stunning love it i love it and it's saying like what oh so this is kind of looking like a portfolio do we want to talk a little bit about portfolios hmm yeah so oh let's let's ask this in a very confrontational way yeah i want to work in tech or i'm i'm, I'm working in tech do I need a portfolio yeah. website? Even though I knew this question was coming, I'm still <laughs> got to think about it for a second. I would say it helps, but there are options. Having a presence online definitely helps. Be it uh, a lot of people use something called LinkedIn to, to connect with people and keep like a, a resume or a CV. Which is uh, like a... Lot a of people job Facebook or a job Instagram. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know what social media is anymore. I, I, I'm. <laughs> Fortunately, that's not our job. <laughs> I'm going to be spikier. I'm going to say it depends on what kind of tech you want to do. Ooh, if like you're going to be a front end developer, you better heck and get a get a portfolio site. I'm gonna I'm gonna mm. lovingly gently bully you too. So if you're doing stuff on the front end when you're showing a thing, yeah, I'm gonna politely insist. I'm not the boss of you. I can't make you. I'm gonna politely recommend um, that you have a portfolio site. If you say, "Oh, I'm a great front end developer," and even if you don't feel like you're great, I want you to sell it. Say, "Oh, I'm a great front end developer." The next question people are gonna ask is, well, "Can I see it?" Yep. Uh, and I, I still recommend it for st folks who are like technical writers or mm. devrails. Like if you want to do an outreach thing, uh, you probably need it. <laughs> but if you're a backend dev or if you work in a security, maybe you want to have uh, security. I see a lot of folks who don't necessarily have um, portfolio sites. And backend devs, I see a lot of folks who are just like, I'm just, I'm just going to have my GitHub, or I'm just going to have my GitLab. Thank you very much. Oh, so we've got somebody who's brand new who's saying, I need to the Hello. club. Welcome to the club, my love. I want to design attractive websites, but that doesn't work. Well, good news, bad news. Uh, we're going to, so these are beautiful websites. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, all the websites we're going to build together are usually going to be pretty bad on purpose. So if you want to learn to like relax and build terrible ones, good news. If you want to build beautiful ones and have us show it off for the next show and tell, also good yeah. news. Yeah. If you'd like us to teach you how to design things that look good, I am I'm so sorry that we we do not have either the the skill or the I mean, Ramon, you can make a pretty website. I mean, I wouldn't say that, but I think I think what's important to focus on here as well is it's it's the what we're trying to do here is like get there to that point where we're making beautiful websites by going through the necessary steps of making not not you know perfect websites at first. Oh, we should have synced on this because we're doing two different things. We are because uh, you're like <laughs> I'm gonna slowly get to making beautiful things. I'd be like I want to make garbage. <laughs> But, you know, I think the two are complementary. Um, 
<laughs> so Ramon will eventually teach you to make beautiful things, and I will continue to make you teach you to relax about making garbage. Unfortunately, oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. So, Ooh. so so far on this page, we've said, oh, hey, so I see, here's what I do. Here's the stuff I like to do. And here's the stuff I'm not good at. I love it. Hmm. Yeah. And, and it's like very, very clear what they're, what they're looking for, what, what folks are looking for. A big, a big button that says get in touch. Um, this is stunning. This is stunning. And, and we can see that we've got like designs, ooh, designs from what I believe to be a template or some kind of like basis, which is totally cool as well. Fine. And I think like a lot of folks do that. Like a lot, of, I think my current website is based on a template. Um, we got different pages. This is stunning work, Kai. Look at that. Again, unreasonably good. Unacceptable. Jail. <laughs> and like, you can't have a picture of you looking cool, looking off into the sunset. Unreasonable. <gasps> oh, I love what, um, Casey was saying here. Um, if you plan on making it to make garbage, some of it will accidentally turn out good. Yeah. See, I, I knew there was like a consolidation point there somewhere. <laughs> it just be in the middle where I'm like trash and you're like art and be like, yeah. Okay. Art trash. <laughs> so we got different. Oh, look at that. Different testimonials from client work. And this Absolutely. might be a really good example of saying, hey, look, I'm looking for work. I need a portfolio page. Yeah. Um. Oh, no, people are complimenting each other. Cassium saying, hey, Kai, just in case you look at this later, the site has really nice visual balance. Oh, so wonderful. Vedram Vuta was saying, hey, how do I learn to make beautiful websites? Um, steal inspiration from the greats. And so far, we've seen two greats back to back, which I think is an unreasonable ratio for, for a bad website club where I'm like, we're going to make terrible websites. And all the learners are like, no, we're not. We're not really. <laughs> <laughs> this is delightful. We've got public speaking. Ah, look at that. We've got a contact form. Ooh. And different links to talks. Fantastic. Unreasonable, stunning, disgustingly good, unacceptable. Another 10 out of 10, I would say. Right? <laughs> oh, this is this is making it sound less and less sincere with everyone. Like, but I love these. No, no. Also, I really funny. like this this lavender, which again is not the main point, is it? <laughs> love it. Yeah. Shall we move on to the next one? All right. Okay, here we go. This one was sent to us by. Uh, let me get the name on Discord just to make sure I say it right. Yeah. From Bao on Discord. Can Here we I, go. One, I, two, can three, I, go. Does this so this is albums. No, uh, this is. I mean, I would, I would, I would do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so this, is, uh, this is the Midnight's Maker. This is a web app. Ooh. This is a web app. You know what I'm going to ask even before I ask it. Yeah. So. You might have heard of a distinction between websites and web apps, and uh, these can be a little bit blurry in terms of how they differentiate. But the way I would go about it is, you know, a website has static content. That is, it doesn't change. You visit it, and every time it's pretty much the same. And it and the utility is mostly limited to um, consuming information or um, filling out a form and getting in touch with somebody. Whereas a web app is a little bit more dynamic. It allows you to do things like. For example, as we'll see in a moment, generate album covers um, so, or, yeah. If I was going to steal what you've just said, a website is like a flat document or or interactive flat documents that link to each other, whereas yeah. a web app is like a program that runs on the web. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. No, it's, it's what you said. I'm just stealing. No, no, no. It's good. You're making it good. <laughs> so what we have here is a web app for making album cover so we can for example change the title uh let's call can this we? the bad website club jams what we can change the format oh oh hold on <gasps> oh 
Oh, you can change the format between vinyl, which has two sides, and CD, which is, of course, one side. And if you're thinking, hey, this is completely unfair, when are y'all going to teach us how to do this? Good news. I am mm -hmm. never going to teach us how to do this because I'm bad at <laughs> JavaScript. Uh, and I'm even worse at PHP. And these are two popular programming languages on the web that can give you that appy interactivity. There's other things you could do. You could you could write stuff with um, Ramon. What's 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 a way I could use non-web programming languages on the web? Oh, there is technology called WebAssembly that lets you do a lot of this. But there's other programming languages that compile or are translated into JavaScript, which is that more dynamic language of the web, such as you might have heard of TypeScript. Uh, I'm going to age myself a little bit here and mention you coffee, say coffee script. script. Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> if you've never heard of any of these, that is fine. So we're going to do a web boot camp in at toward, over the summer, just to make it accessible for folks who are maybe in learning, um, in, in traditional learning. Uh, and <laughs> after that, we're going to do some more bad website club seasons. But Eventually, what we're going to do is another JavaScript boot camp. And the cool thing is, I'm not going to teach any of that. I am so, I, I, might, I might come and pair with you. Um, oh, we should totally do that. I think it'd but, be fun. I've taken my badness at JavaScript and really turned it into a personality trait where I'm like, no, websites weren't made to think. <laughs> so Ramon and, and, and guests will talk to you oh yeah. look how cool this is oh different editions yeah very cool we I'm, I'm, I'm sensing that the maker of this might be a little bit of a Taylor Swift fan let's not discount that as a possibility <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then let's make it midnight and let, what I suspect will happen So we can download, let's download our, <gasps> oh, let's, I'm going to open it here in the browser. There's our image. So it's generated an album cover for Bad Website Club Jams with Taylor Swift. Unacceptable. <laughs> this is so far into the realm of extra credit. Uh, Platypus is, is asking cool. when I will be teaching us WebAssembly. Good news. I will not. Never say never. Uh, no, I mean... These days, so Ramon and I used to work together, and these days we have diverged. So Ra you remain the the WebAssembly expert of of the stream. Uh, Unless where someone I'm, in chat knows more than me. <laughs> yeah, well, mm, uh, whereas I am specializing more and more on uh, speech AI stuff and open sourcey speech stuff. That is so, uh, cool. so well, you know, it sounds fancier than it is. I'm doing mostly support tickets and chilling out. So if we ever learn WebAssembly, it'll be with Ramon. And if we ever do goofy stuff with human languages on the web, that's totally my bag. Yeah. We can, we, and we, there's not, you know, nothing stopping us from, 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 from doing that, um, any of that. So, you well, know. I mean, time, energy. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Like, aside from the larger world around us, this is <laughs> stunning. I, I love it. actively mad about how fun this is. It's interactive. It's on Vercel. And I think that after we do Ooh. a JavaScript boot camp, talking about where applications live. So we are going to do a where does your code live yeah. season where we talk about where you can write and store code. So stuff like GitLab, stuff like GitHub. Uh, but really, where do you host and how do you host applications is probably going to come probably second half of the year. We're, we're, we're not going to be in a huge hurry. This is absolutely wonderful, Paul. Right? It. It's unacceptable. It's not fair for individuals to be this talented. Jail. <laughs> Shall we move on to the next one? Oh, yes. But no, I just keep getting madder and madder that everybody's so talented and good at stuff and all their stuff is cute and smart. I, I could I could be less petty. No, you're great. I'm going to show you. like, no, two. no pet. We're going to showcase two of them made us, made, sent to us by Domi on the Discord. Here we go. You ready, Jess? Yeah. One, two, three. Here we go. Oh, no. So, I mean, like... This is this is an actual website that does stuff. So um, in case you're curious, this is in Polish, I'm going to guess, just uh, based on the fact. I think 
they mentioned it was the Polish. PL, the PL. Yeah, and they said it was on Polish. But this is just wonderful. And I love showcasing a website that's not, you know, just English speaking. Absolutely wonderful. Um, oh, because you cheat. You speak like nine languages. No, three. You're going to do the European thing where you say, I only speak four. No, 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 three. <laughs> you are very lucky that you are far enough away where I can't shake you. <laughs> Look at this. And this is a website for, um, I think it's a massage. Like I'm yeah, it looks like wellness and massage. And the, I love this. This is simple. This is quick. I mean, not yeah. quick because this must have taken a ton of time. But I love that this is so practical to say, hey, I need yeah. a website for my or my friends or my clients. Massage therapy thing. What does it need? And mm -hmm. I think that process of, of thought. So first off, beautiful, beautiful layout. The gray is a really good offset to the darker background. Yeah. Uh, what happens when we resize it? Oh. Uh, so I'm doing do some advanced stuff. Look at Ooh. that. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> Unacceptable. <gasps> whoa, whoa. Jess, did you see the burger menu show up? Check right? it out. You might have... Watch so across once it got the top. Smaller... Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. And the burger menu is that three lines, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, it looks like a burger, hence the name burger menu. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is called responsive web design. This is so good. And I confess, so I, I did try this before I asked. Um <laughs> But this, this is somebody who said, hey, I want something that's a, a real business website. Mm. I and thought about, I need to talk about sales and offers. I need to talk about contact. I need to talk about whatever mas, masra means. Oh, that's the name. So that's going to be the homepage, offers. Mm. Can you click on Cynic? What's Cynic? Yeah, I'm going to click on it here. Oh, here. Oh mm -hmm. yes! Oh, the 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 pricing. Um, yeah, I can oh, see no, the. Oh this is making me want to learn some Polish. What a pretty language! I'm, gonna get I'm this loving all the one. Zs. <gasps> I believe in this the second is... one. Yeah. Is that a Z with an accent mark over it in the Mataz? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh, I think that's a dot. I, I'm gonna zoom in and see. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, we should we should be looking at websites, and I'm just like, oh, I've never seen an accent mark over is. a Z before. I love it, amazing, Forgot. perfect. You know what? Let's gonna oh, and the the L with a strike through it. Oh no, yeah. this is fascinating. What a cool language. I'm gonna get this wrong. I believe this is called. These are called sloty, which is the currency of uh, Poland. Uh. <laughs> Y'all, thank you for being so patient while I, uh, while I, I sort of it. eyeball Pol Polish being such a pretty language. It's, I mean, this is, it does what you need it to do. It's an mm -hmm. actual in production website that serves a. And the thing I love is it's a non tech use case as well. A use case is like what you build something for. And a lot of us wanting to work in tech or working in tech, you say, I'm going to make a portfolio website. I'm going to make a website for my startup. I'm going to make a website for a hypothetical startup. But somebody's saying, hey, do you know what? I'd, I'd really like for there to be a website for massage therapy. I'm going to do this. Perfect. Incomparable. Delightful. Yes. And I, I, I especially love from a, from a usability standpoint, you know, I open it up. I get a big button here that I don't. Oh, uh, What's I'm guessing it? just um, it, book now, it, book now. it takes me right to the opening hours. <gasps> Fantastic. No, that so, like, is what, I, need that's to what know. I want. Yeah, exactly. It tells me what I need. There's a phone number for making appointments, it, giving me that information that I need right away because, you know, otherwise I'm just going to like noodle around a little bit and maybe leave. But this one, this website's like, I know what you need. You want the opening times. Here's a yeah. big button to take you there. I mean, I, I, it, it's seeming less and less sincere, but this is exactly what I want. And the, hey, here's the stuff you were looking for button. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Stunning. Great work, Domi. And we got another one from you. Uh, what? Shall we move on? No. It, no, you're not allowed to have two good websites. One Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, hold up. Yep. Ready. Oh. 
But, but I opened this but. beforehand, so I need to refresh it real quick because y'all need to see this. Oh, that's, I, I, I love refresh? yelling. Sorry, I got excited. Look at this. No, it's good. Yeah. Ah, <gasps> uh, so is that animation? That is indeed an animation. Are we going to um, learn about animation on the web boot camp? Yes, we are. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. This is another stunning website. I love this button that says, go see what you came for right away. So this is the exact same principle, isn't it? Where it's like, hey, you've yep. come to this website. And this is an artist, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Art gallery. And, and I believe don't saying... mention that. Yeah, sorry. No, I'm interrupting you because I'm excited. This one's saying, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I know that you're, so the other one is saying, hey, this is a, a massage therapy website. You're probably here because you've booked a massage, you've been gifted a massage, or you, you want to book. Here's a jump to the stuff you care about one. And it's the same as well to say, hey, this is an artist's one. Let's say yeah. you jump to the art. Yeah, why not? Let's let's click on it right away. Oh, look at that. It oh, scrolled down Oh, wait, no, let me see the profile. That profile is so cute and nice. Oh. Oh. Look at that. I love the color consistency. I love when a when a website has like, you know, a consistency of colors. I see here, for example, this image is using both the the same uh darker bluish color. I'm bad at color names. Like this darker blue and this yellow from the rest of the website. Do you, do you, do you see what I mean? Yes. I'm just transcribing a thing. So I'm going to be quiet for a little second because I've used all of my brain cells today hiking, which I strongly recommend. That's wonderful, Jess. Um, go for it. I'll, 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 is it cool if I go ahead and phone over this hey, website? Hey, for a go, while? Go, go. I'll be just looking at this because this is great. I love this description. My say, name is, you know, my paintings are abstract and vibrant with a unique focus. And then you've got here a gallery of paintings. And look at that. <gasps> they even react when you no. hover over them. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. I know Looking that this back. is probably not. I mean, I don't I don't know what the artist's intention is. Uh, but I would quite like to touch this painting. It looks like it would be very smooth and nice to touch. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, there's a buy button. Oh no, oh, yeah. there's a buy button. Oh. I mean, so this is really sensible as well, where they're saying, Hey, I'm an artist. I've got to have a homepage, and that's sort of the index where you land on. I, it's a single page site as well. Yeah. So all of these links go to different sections, which we'll learn how to do on the boot camp, I promise. Lovely. So the about was that yellow section. And this is the galleries. And I bet if we go down further, it'll say, hey, did you want to buy this? Um, Get in touch. Oh, There's Dominica, I love this where you're like, I did this. Yeah. Absolutely get your credit. And all rights reserved. Let's talk about that. Oh, that, that that's kind of licensing reminds me of language. The, yeah, it kind of reminds me of the, yeah, of the licensing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Because this is licensing language as well, because the other licenses are like, hey, here are some complicated language around what you can and can't do. And here it just says, don't you even think about it. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, look, I made this. Wonderful. This is mine. D don't. Please and thank you. Oh, wait. Yep. Click on the buy. I just want to see it. I just want to see it. Sorry. I'm shameless for for spending all of my my. You are, you are wonderful. I think the buy will take us to get in touch. Oh, nice. So absolutely sweet. stunning. If you if you see one of these in the background, <laughs> like, like <laughs> it, no, you didn't. Love it. Oh, fantastic work, Domi. This is phenomenal. And the I, circles I on this landing space mirroring a lot of the thematic work and the art itself, like oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. we've got the exact same I... responsiveness. Ooh, that is stunning. I, phenomenal work. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Shall we move right? on to the next one? Oh, yeah. Because, like, do you know, do you think we can sucker Dominica into, 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 into replacing me? Like, <sighs> they're obviously significantly better than me. And they're, oh, but it's the bad website club. Uh, so my not job is safe. <laughs> I yes, love you are this. Story, you dummy. This is amazing. Ah, uh, 
Oh, my absolute kingdom to touch some of these. Like I, 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 I'm not sure that I'm allowed to touch oil paintings in general. I don't think you're supposed to. But oh, what a delight! We got a couple more. Shall we? Uh, yeah, look and at I've thrown a new one in, so we've got one more at the end of this. Fantastic! Thank you so much. So, oh, should ready I just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'm gonna scroll up. All right, here we go. One. I love two, the anticlimactic three. reveals. Ooh. So this is my amazing coding journey sent from to a us Siamese cat <laughs> by PJ17 on Discord. Thank you. Um, this one. Oh, this is a WordPress is site. WordPress. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely I, I, amazing. I caught, and I bet if we push the reader button, it'll give us a feed version. And like WordPress <gasps> has some really nice things like this built. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so so WordPress has a built-in feed that you can use as an option. Oh, look at that. Cool. So that grabs a WordPress news. Yeah. So you can you can grab oh, this is I uh, no, I know what's going on. I'm logged in. So oh, it's yours. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, Paula is here saying thanks for showing my web app. I was a little late, but I went back to watch it. Thanks a lot again. Thank you for sharing your website. It's so cool. I love it. Um, so here we've got, yeah, I do like coding.com. Right. Absolutely wonderful. I, like good domain name, emphatic. And I love yeah. how this is this is developing. So oh, you earned your certificate in HTML. You, I I, I don't know if you're you're alive with us. This is so nice. This is amazing. So this feels very, very similar. Oh. <gasps> My love, like that's very familiar. So you 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 speak French as your first language, I'm guessing. Oh wow! Um, and to to build a website in your second or third or fifth or twelfth is so hard. I I'm not the boss of you, but I'd love to see a French version of this. Um, oh, I think that. Oh, this is going to be a little bit political. Ooh. I think that when we talk about tech, and it's it's very disingenuous because we're doing this in English. Yeah. Um, I, I confess that I I could only I could only do this very well in English. Oof, I could only do this as well as I'm doing it in English. But I think in tech we're often asking people to meet us in their second or third or fourth language, and it always feels very unfair and very messed up. Um, so this is stunning, but I'd love to see you make stuff in French. I'll mispronounce it. I uh, but I'll be just as delighted. This is perfect. This is, this is a great portfolio website. It's hopeful. Oh, look at this. Look at this. this is Sorry, I always say patronizing. Look at this process. Dream it, build it, sell it, grow it. I yes. love having values, you know, like as somebody like putting their values like front row center on their website. This is stunning work. Great job. I'm not the boss of you. Uh, but I'm going to give you some. Well, not, not you, Ramon. I am the boss of you. <laughs> uh, but one thing I'd recommend just because I recommend this to all the learners is if you ever wanted to tweak some of this language to change the goals you have to the current tense and that's especially weird to say to somebody in their first uh, in, working in their second language but here you say I want to sell my coding skills in the near future I want to become a freelance uh, developer soon oh. turn that into present tense to say hey i'm a freelance developer interested in this thing in this because like even if you're making websites for your friends even if you're making websites for your mama you're making websites unpaid work yeah. and i'd love y'all to do as little unpaid work as possible unpaid work is work yeah yep 100 percent um, agree yeah oh gosh you're a translator okay you know what i was gonna say this is really, really like if this if English is your second language, it's unreasonable how nice the English is. But a translator who's also a programmer, oh, that's going to be incredible. Jess, because they mentioned it on Discord, I do think it's also fair that I put PJ17 on the spot and mentioned that today is their birthday as well. <gasps> do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do I want to? Happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. Are we Happy... Happy no, we're not. <laughs> you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll do it in text to spare everybody because uh, we're just going to keep cracking up. And that's that's. Happy birthday, lovely. So 
stunningly talented. My 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 ungift to you, my my gift of choice is talk about in the future, in the future, right now. You're yeah. you're a year older, and at your big old age, I don't know how old you are. You could you could be fourteen, you could be ninety four, but like, let's go ahead and say, hey, I'm available for. Even if you're not set up to take money yet, if somebody comes along and says, hello, I would like to give you 47,000 pounds or dollars or euros, euros. I, I hear a lot of people use euros. I'd like to give you 20,000 euros to do this project. I bet you can get set up to take money right quick. Absolutely stunning work. And I, I agree with Jess. Definitely like, you know, put pump yourself up. You know, you are, you are a coder. You can code. Like you should absolutely put it accordingly i mean we have and the proof I, here i feel like this is a, a very judgy thing that i've done does the does clicking on the cat do anything like is that a little easter egg up at the Where's... top ah <gasps> ah it takes you back home oh no that's fabulous i was just like more uh, amazing so that's what you get for it being your birthday. You're the only person who gets like actual constructive feedback, but I like the green. I would like to see more of the cat, please. Oh, I like the that's green. Really please go ahead and talk about your skills and talk about your, your professional uh, skills in current tense and more cat. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> yeah, what's Absolutely. the cat's name? Yeah, we want to Sorry, know. This, I... this is very unprofessional where I'm just like, so the <laughs> important thing, happy birthday your professional goals. I would like to hear more about your cat. <laughs> For the record, and, same. <laughs> right? Ramo, some, sometime you're going to like pick up your very bad dog and show him to the, the everybody, yeah? I am getting him used to being scooped. Yes. Okay. So I, I love the way you're like, I'm not going to do that. He doesn't, he doesn't like a scoop. I mean, he's getting there. He's getting there. <laughs> I, this invites you all to imagine like the biggest, scariest dog. And he's just like a little w wiggle baby. He is very wiggly. We got, we've got. we actually got two more because we've had a yes. late sub And not late because there's no homework. There's no deadline. A live okay. submission. A live okay, submission. Oh, a live sub That implies the other ones are dead. No. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's fine. Ready? So here we I, go. One, I've two, been told three. this is another web app. Here we go. Yeah. Ready. Oh. So this one was sent Orobo, to us on like... Oribos, like a rounding uh, snakey doofer. Oh, Oribos, yeah. Sweden. I've never heard of this place. How exciting! So, oh, we got music. Ah, oh, sadly, I can't share music for several reasons due to like, uh, because you know I want to make sure that this YouTube video doesn't get taken down for copyright processing. But also, you know, like, we'll leave it there for folks to be able to check it out in their own time and listen to those cool tunes look at this i love this paper like recycled paper right do you know background? what it feels like what does it feel like no? like what does this layout kind of feel okay first wait 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 I'm gonna what talk about, about the geocities vibes in a second but <laughs> can you see anything on this that i love more than anything you just we are not evil for how much no. like i know yeah. i love that that's great all day where you're like hello it's a it's a music. Are they a studio? Are they a band? Are they a? I'm not sure. Can you put the link in the chat so folks can listen totally. to the music if they wanna? And I love because yeah. we've been talking about licensing a lot, and this is really nice because it says, "Hey, if you want to use this music on your website." Or if you want to play this at your business, here's how you license this music. Um, I know copyright is kind of a messy concept and we, we're, we're sort of knee jerk conditioned to be like, Ugh, copyright. Um, but I really like this to say, hey, you know what? I've made this music or I'm hosting this music or I'm, I'm facilitating this music. I'm not super info. Click info. I must know. Uh, sorry. No, no. Uh, Okay, so it's a, it's like a, a music access, like music streaming. Yes. In fact, the person who wrote to this, wrote uh, sent it to us, says it's a very noble and ethical site, but they would badly need some volunteer web development help. Oh. This is, again, stunning. I love a website with like a, a, a sort of like a mission. 
So extremely late 90s feel, but in a very updated, clean way. Yeah. Frequently asked questions. Can I burn CDs? Obviously, that's the question I want. <laughs> He'd be like, hey. Look, it's not, it even tells you like, hey, we recommend you download the WAV format. That's a file format, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Do you use DRM? Nah, nah, DRM. I like this. So, hey, if I buy the music, what can I do with it? Whereas like, cool. Yeah. You can keep this and listen to it. Don't really give it to your friend. It would be a jerk move. Yeah, where it's saying, hey, you know what? These are some DRM music you can buy and, and access. Um, I'm also very old. I wonder what hard electronic means. Shall I click on it? I I, I, I won't make a sound. Will it? Oh, it'll show other stuff tagged hard electronic. Very cool. <laughs> Looks like it looks like so, there's a lot of options. This is a very, very sort of 90s feel overall. Not in like, oh, this is old fashioned or it's clunky. This is just very delightful. Also, it I've got does... to learn. Oh, please. No, it, it does what it says. Sorry, I was going to just right? gonna say that. <laughs> I was going to say, so I'm, I'm used to thinking of Ouroboros, like the, the picture the, of a snake the... eating its own tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I've just clicked and learned that Orobo uh, is the sixth largest, uh, sixth largest, oh, wow, um, sixth largest city in Sweden. And it looks like it's kind of chilly a lot. Uh, but it looks <gasps> absolutely so beautiful. Far north in Sweden. <laughs> so this is oh. absolutely fantastic work. Um, one more? One more. Two more. Oh, one no, more. No. One more. Yeah. So we've got one last one from Platypus who's saying, hey, if you accept live ones, oh, oh it's sweet. You're maybe Swedish based or Swedish language as well. But this is Ein Light in Lit. I can't speak any Swedish. Uh, Litten glass. Bus. So a small ice cream. I'm a, I'm a fan of the of the name already. Let's open it up. So I'm just going to make this. This little... is a very good strip down. This is X. HTML? You made this with XHTML? What? Um, so hang on, let me get the Wikipedia for this. Th that, that sounded judgier than I was aiming for. So... I love I, I love I I love a website that that is, you know, just saying what it does. <laughs> Powered by the cheapest hosting I could find, TBH, to be honest. This is so, so delightful. Like, XHTML was a thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Old and broken. This website does what it said it does, and it does it. Um, go fuss you out. XHTML, I'm going to say this wrong, and I'm going to say this ahistorically, which I'm really excited about. So the HTML is a language you can use to write websites. Cool, cool, cool. We're all good with that. And if we're not, we can talk about it a little bit more. Um and the W3C, we see on this little button, I love the buttons, I love the buttons, I just want to say, um, is a organization, a standards board that agrees on how mm. HTML is going gonna, is gonna to grow and change. Um, and in the early 2000s, maybe, they were like, hey, we've got an idea. We're going to go all in on this new thing called XHTML, X yeah we're gonna do this this is definitely the right decision this is how we're gonna do it and then after a while they came back to say okie dokie we, we we tried this it was definitely an idea but maybe we're gonna do a different thing they said hey you know what let's let, let's let's yeah we, we experimented with this it was an exciting experiment uh, there's some differences between HTML and HTML, like the, the structure's a little different. Um, yeah. But but it was something that they kind of went really, really strong on. And then said, well, you know what? M maybe that's not exactly how we want to run things. Let's, let's, let's come back to HTML, flavored HTML. And maybe let's hang out like that. And we, we came back and got HTMLs four and five. Is that historically correct? Yep. I think we're currently on five. Uh, and five is going to be the number forever. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. HTML5 is it. 
So yeah. this is a, a, a HTML. Uh, is am I lying? I lie a lot. <laughs> if you uh, did, it wasn't. Cool. It wasn't on purpose. Yeah. Absolutely not lying. So this is the cool. fifth and final major versioning. Interesting. Although gonna... saying fifth and final um, feels a lot like when I when I would do final presentation, final presentation, real, final presentation, real, real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so cool. XHTML was something we tried in the early 2000s and, and yeah. really haven't done a little bit. Oh, okay. So, so these are like 26. So, so. Oh, you, you went you went for like a throwback thing, huh? I Platypus has posted the most relatable thing possible. <sighs> yeah, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Same. Um <laughs> I have to comment, these projects are so cool. I'm such a I love MIDI stuff. Uh, which is like a What's way a of, MIDI? What's a MIDI? Yeah. So it's a standard. I could be. I'm gonna come get this completely wrong. So platypus, please make correct me on this. Um, a standard for encoding music digitally. Yeah, uh, it's the way to make fancy music into beepy boopy music. Pretty much, um, it is <laughs> extremely cool. And so, like, you can also use MIDI to communicate between devices. So, for example, you could have a keyboard that communicates in MIDI. To your computer so you can play like if you ever use the app garage band on your mac uh I that i have uh, not <laughs> that's so much in school and <clears throat> nowadays uh but can i can i just comment on something real quick because this this really i found this so enchanting so we got reaction what pages love love autoplay warning autoplay warning meaning of course that um music will play or video will play automatically um wait i i I, I want to further dive into the most charming part about this, that your options are yes, no, and no in Swedish. Delightful. Right? Absolutely delightful. Unaccepted. What does the little heart do? Oh. Oh, scroll? no, it's just very cute. I love it. Amazing. That covers I all the it. websites that you Show and tell. Platypus, you are not allowed. Well, you're, I'm not the boss of you. Well, I'm, not, I'm the boss of you now. I get, you're not allowed to say, oh, this website. So it's so cute and good. You made weird it. stuff. It loads fast. And a little, to be honest, like powered by the cheapest hosting I could find. Let's be real. Like, yes, 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 yes. And joke domains or punny domains are ab like empirically the most correct you can go. This is not technically correct. This is correct, correct. No, this is amazing work. Um, yeah. So that I think that wraps up our first show and tell. Folks, if you want to submit yours to be checked out, well, for, before I say that, thank you all so much for submitting yours and showing them to us today. It was such a joy to check out your websites and just like, you know, see how wonderful folks can be at making websites when you're not as bad as I am. Um, it was so much fun. Please, we're going to do this again. So, you know, if you saw this and it was like, oh, I want to, you know, show and tell my website. I want to we'll show off. I, I want to make, sh make sure Jess is real mad at me about how good I am at good news. I will never run out of being mad at, at y'all's being impossibly talented. So we'll be back next week. So tomorrow we'll be not taking tomorrow. a day off. Mm -hmm. Oh, and do you know what? Even though we're not the boss of y'all... Tomorrow, if you were planning on coming in and joining us live, you've got to spend that time chilling out. You've got to read some comics or take a, oh, take a little nap. Take a little nap. Roman, what are you going to be doing with the time? I'm going to be meeting a friend for coffee. Per that's allowed to. But you, yeah, if, if you're not allowed to study or be unhappy, if you were going to be joining us tomorrow, it is obligatory chill time. Love it. So, um, yeah, we'll see you all next week. We're going to be doing, we're going to be checking out Kirby with Bastian from the Kirby team. It's going to be wonderful. Demo on Monday, make a bad website on Tuesday. And then we've got a nice little break. We'll go ahead. We're just ironing some stuff out. And then we're going to go ahead and announce when we're going to be doing the next free web development bootcamp. I can't wait. Amazing. Let's let everybody go to have an easy morning or evening or middle of the night. Bye, everyone.
Take care. Bye, love.